Hi, I'm John Mark Dempsey, and uh, we're having a second cup of coffee conversation with Chris Brown, who is the uh, executive director of the Sulphur Springs Economic Development Corporation, correct? Yes, yeah, and uh, uh, Chris, of course, you all know former Sulphur Springs mayor, former Hopkins County judge, formerly executive director of the Arc, Arc, uh, Arctex, Arctex Council of Governments. I want to say Arc Latex, but that's a different one. That's the right. So, they, yeah, so, there are a lot of Arc Latex things over there. Just yeah. uh, we don't we don't sing at yeah. Arctex. Yeah. Yeah. I see. And it, an impressive resume for Chris, and then just recently became uh, executive director of uh, the EDC. So uh, a number of things to to talk about. Last time uh, we visited, and that's been uh, back uh, I think early part of January. The news had just come out about Cello Core closing. They've manufactured straws and plastic straws, which was unfortunate, but I understand you've got something else in that building already, or, or you're just about to. We're about to, yes, sir. They they haven't announced, so we can't can't tell you who they are, but we, we had a lot of interest in that building very quickly mm -hmm. uh, once people heard about it from both uh, inside the city already here and from outside the city as well. So, um, it really is a good fit for that building, and glad to glad to see it utilized. And there'll be there'll be some additional jobs, but it's the expansion of one of our local companies and Celacor. That's just a, a business decision that, unfortunately, just Sulphur Springs. They things didn't quite fit as, mm -hmm. as well as they they had in Sulphur Springs. But we wish definitely wish them the best. They're still a very good company to to work with as we try to to transition them out of that building. That's out of the ordinary, really, isn't it? I mean, you, you haven't had many go out of business and, and leave in recent times. No, sir, not at all. So, yeah, yeah that was that was definitely unique um, that it happened here, uh, yeah. especially right now. But, you know, kind of kind of things happen. Business models change and adjust, and um, really it kind of, you know, hopefully it works out works out for them. They've made a good decision and, um, you know, kind of kind of helps us, helps some of our other people here. Last time we talked, I, I'm not, not even sure why I did, but I, I made a note of Thermo Mine, and we've heard okay. so much about this now going back several years. This huge property uh, to the east, I guess, of town. I, I would yes. consider it to be the, the east. And this is something you're actively promoting. There's nothing that, uh, to announce uh, at this time, but right. this is something every day that, that is at the front of yeah. mind for you every day yes sir so you know it's 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 all the city property so working very closely with our city manager mark maxwell on that um he has get, had some very interesting leads that i've been able to come and help him with as i've come into this role mm -hmm. trying to you know and we're out there trying to look for infrastructure dollars trying to put together grants trying to finish up the master plan um and really you know make it so that it's not only marketable which it's marketable by itself now, but we really need the roads, the water, sewer out there. Um, and they've got a good plan coming in to really get it to the to the central site, and then figure out how to how to start phasing things in as we get the the right fits, uh, right companies coming out there. That is, there's 4,300 acres available for industrial development there. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what's kind of kind of marked off for that. So yeah, we're we're excited about that opportunity, and that is, you know, talking to people around the state, around the country. This is this is huge. Um, this there's not a lot of uh, opportunities like this out there, and it's, you know, it's it's not that you want that that mega site, those you know, large Amazons, Teslas, mm. things like that. Um, we want to kind of keep doing what really has made us successful in this those. Um, you know the companies, 100, 200 employees, things like that is really, really what we're looking for. But even more so now is the capital investment, because that's what brings in the tax dollars, and that's what helps you know keep keep our taxes manageable and uh, helps fix our streets, fix uh, fix the water sewer lines, everything yeah, else. The thing so everybody uh, wants wants done. Yes, so uh, so at 4,300 acres, and you could have several different. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, it's probably an understatement. <laughs> yeah, understatement. Yes, there's several. Yeah. Uh, several Multiple. would be a good start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's 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 a lot of territory, and then yeah. the remaining territory could be used for parks, uh, park land, or yeah. There's there's different things in there, and it's just kind of kind of um, they're kind of working on how that lays out. But there's definitely going to have to be um, some some storm drainage things like oh, that. Yeah. There's right. ponds out there, so yeah, I definitely think there's going to be um, some green space some things that really help enhance the look of, of mm. that industrial park. So, you know, the, the idea is not to be your, you know, your industrial park where you go out there and see, 
you know, lay down yards and all of that. There'll be some of that, but for the most part, you want it to be a, an attractive place because that's what's going to help help bring some of uh, some of these companies in. Right. You guys are active every day, trying to bring industry to, to Sulphur Springs. Can you characterize, without giving away too much, some of the things that you're working on right now? So we're uh, we're about to break ground. Uh, we're going to help develop one building for a company coming in. Um, we've got another one that they uh, really started working on about almost two years ago that I think within the next three months will be breaking ground there. So that's going to be about a... $15 million investment uh, for that company there. Mm. And that'll go in off the, the new road that was just put in off Main Street, mm -hmm. uh, where the cul-de-sac is. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that'll go on the, on the back section of, the, of that property. Mm -hmm. um, and then we talked to a couple of companies we have here about expansion, uh, different expansions that they're, they're about to start. So really a lot of, a lot of things happening here. Um, so it's really, really a lot of fun. Uh, we hear so much about how, how well Texas is doing uh, in terms of attracting industries from, from all over the country. And, and Sulphur Springs is part of that, benefiting from that? Absolutely. Yes, sir. So, um, you know, in our location, proximity to Dallas uh, definitely helps. Um, the available land out here definitely helps. Mm -hmm. If they've had to work with the larger cities versus coming out and working with uh, your communities our size that's that's a benefit and the quality of life that they see out here as soon as they come out this way um, we have had a lot of feedback on you know from the companies that have relocated here and the ones that we're just starting to see just about what a uh, what a great place we have great Chris Brown is uh, executive director of the Sulphur Springs Economic Development Corporation we're going to meet with him uh, every so often, just catch up on what, what's going on with yes. you guys. Hopefully, I can start giving you a little more, uh, little more names and, and some exciting well, things I going on. Well, I think I expect so. <laughs> All right, I'm John Mark Dempsey, and this is KSST.